the component settings are unique for each component so this as I said before may change um, just gonna select or just let me close this just clean up everything from the previous video just gonna create a few components here just gonna create the arm just gonna create maybe um, like control zero one that is probably one of the most used ones and just for um, explanation I'm just gonna use the mouth one also so what you see here is maybe a representation and maybe there is not all these settings for that they are common for all the components but it's a uh, yeah you can see some similarity so first thing is mouth that doesn't have component settings yes we may have uh, components that doesn't have any configuration at all on just the name and site and that's it so this is the mouth in this case and we don't have for the moment any anything else maybe the squash I don't remember to be honest but you may find some uh, components that do doesn't have any component settings okay so that's the easy one now well we may have uh, it's a different kind of settings so we have like sliders we have these spinning boxes we have a boolean checks so on off we may have these buttons here that open a new um, window in this case is uh, like this, um, I would say it, um, graph editor that represents this squash and stretch of the of the, um, I would say it, of the arm. So this represents the profile for the squash and stretch that we'll sample later. So depending on how many joints, so we'll sample this curve. And you noted that when I open, was set to this. Um, the reason is because my default settings are for step it so take care with that so and that's something I, I will change later on for the next video but um, well I'm just gonna do it now so here on animation the default tangent it's recommended to have spline here so save that and just to to be sure that we just I'm just gonna delete the arm there the component yeah so you can see now it's uh, spline so that's something yeah, you need to to take care with that okay and then we have this what is called reference arrays and we have uh, IK reference array a vector reference array pin elbow reference array and so on so here also we have similar things we have the check boxes that we can check and check to configure different options we have uh, spin boxes also like the size so here we didn't have size this was max stretch and divisions but here it controls the size of the um, uh, like the the control itself so and the reason because you control the size here is because you don't have any element on the control zero one that also can be taken to make a reference here I know the distance from here to here can be the size and I can make kind of a mathematical calculation to calculate the thickness but here we don't have anything so I did uh, add something that it will um, control the size so we have this control size reference so basically to scale when you scale the control it's gonna take into account the distance the world uh, global distance between these two, two elements so it helps you to, to calculate the, the size but also we can do it here so if we reset this to one means one multiply by one it's going to be one if I have here let's say two okay let me type this correctly two and it's one here means it's gonna be size of uh, two but if I put two it's gonna be size of four so it's a multiplier also the control shape so you can select different shapes from box to arrow flower sphere and then we have the Kable thing. So not all the components have these Kable options, but this does because it's used as uh, we saw before for uh, UI host. So we can just uncheck or make any combination we wish, and then it's going to be toggling everything. And then we have an IK reference array again. So that's the um, like general pattern that we will find. So check boxes, spin boxes, sliders, and. IK reference arrays. 
So what is a reference array? That's interesting. So the reference array is the one, so let's say the IK reference array. So I'm going to set the first one. Uh, let's make two components. So I'm just going to make here control zero one, control zero. Uh, and uh, you can use it for the vector also other parts. So when I build later, I'm just going to build this. I'm just going to close maybe Okay, I'm just going to close this one, just keep this here. So now, all this is moving as you expected, the IK. And then the default was control zero. So the first one in the list was this one. So now this is moving this. And this is not moving. But here, my default um, UI, at the end, we have the IK reference array, so we can open this uh, pop-up menu and you can see this control zero one and control zero one it's gonna pop now you see when I change we have later on the synoptic some tools to avoid this popping but here we have this pop and now it's gonna be attached to this one so this is not affected so this is a way that we do the I IK reference array so let's say you have a character that you want to to attach the hand to different parts of your body like the hip, the head, the another hand, or even if it has a, a like a prop, a weapon, or something, maybe you want to use Control Zero One to rig your weapon and then attach it to the arm, to the left and the right side, so you can choose which one is the the one that holds the weapon, things like that. So this is the reference array, and it will create this switcher for you automatically. Okay, so this is. Uh, all for the moment for the component settings and when we work on the guide template we will again touch these settings and adjust a little bit so don't worry it's not all we will see but it's just a simple introduction so you get used to all the elements that we will find on the guides on, on the components of the guides